Pastor Brother Williams. And you know, the Bible says that uh, we will know the truth. Well, this is what Jesus said. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. But you know, you have to have a love for the truth. It says in the book of Thessalonians that because they had not a love for the truth, the Lord gave them over to a reprobate mind. And brothers and sisters, we don't want to find ourselves in that predicament. So what we're going to discuss here today is a video that I posted some time back concerning Black Lives Matter. And I tried to tell you all that um, this organization was not a Christian organization. They were not um, America loving organization, but yet they were Marxist group and they preached hatred and they were against the biblical structure of the nuclear family. This video that I'm going to show you is going to prove what I'm saying. Um, I've shown videos before about the uh, one of the founders of Black Lives Matter. He was he found out that she bought three houses um, more than likely with funds from Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter cared about black lives, then they would uh, be up in arms about the children that are being killed, the innocent black children that are being killed in drive-by shootings. But because that doesn't fit their agenda, the black lives of those kids don't matter. Okay, so more proof that black lives matter, a movement built upon lies. And this video I did, uh, back in 2020 and um, I begin to t tell you some things about Black Lives Matter but the truth will always find a way to come to the light and brothers and sisters the truth about Black Lives Matter is coming to light listen to this video the founder of a Black Lives Matter chapter in Minnesota has resigned. He claims the organization isn't concerned about helping black communities or improving the education quality in the city of Minneapolis. That's according to a video published last week. Take a look. Richard Turner was born in Minneapolis. After his father was shot and killed when he was two years old, he went on to become the first in his family to earn a college degree. Turner was the founder of a Black Lives Matter chapter in St. Paul, Minnesota. In a video released by Take Charge, Turner said he became disillusioned about a year after becoming an insider in the left-wing organization. However, after a year on the inside, I learned they had little concern for rebuilding black families. And they cared even less about improving the quality of education for students in Minneapolis. That was made clear when they publicly denounced charter schools alongside the teachers union. The group Take Charge rejects ideas that Black Lives Matter promotes, and that includes claims linked to critical race theory that the United States is inherently racist. I was an insider in Black Lives Matter, and I learned the ugly truth. The moratorium on charter schools does not support rebuilding the black family, but it does create barriers to a better education for black children. Though he resigned from BLM, he says he hasn't stopped working to improve black lives and help them get access to great education. Black Lives Matter didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. This comes after BLM co-founder Patricia Kohler's resigned following a New York Post report. The report said Kohler's purchased four homes for over $3 million. She asserted she did not misuse any donations to Black Lives Matter. Various polls show that a year after George Floyd's death, support for BLM has plummeted, and so has support for its calls to defund the police. Okay, so we see here that this is an insider, a former uh, leader in a Black Lives Matter organization. And he knows what's going on in that organization. So he see uh, that this organization did not care about black lives as they claim they do. Okay, you know, there are a lot of people uh, 
that are in the Black Lives Matter, they're in it for the right reasons, more or less, but the uh, organization is doing things the wrong way and um, they have an agenda. So people are, you know, that are, want to see um, black people benefit and black people grow, they're in it, this organization, you know, trying to do that. But sadly, the leaders of the organization have the wrong motive, as I've said already. You know, the Bible tells us that in the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.13, he says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are seeing today. Evil men, evil men with evil hearts and evil intentions. The Bible says they will wax worse and worse. They will become more and more corrupt, more and more evil. And this is what we are seeing happening today. Now also, it says in the book of 1 Timothy 4.1, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Some will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. And the Bible said that evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse. How are these men being seduced? By spirits, by seducing spirits. And it's sad that many in the church will follow these people because of emotion, because of the plight of the black man um, from early history being enslaved and all of these types of things. And we can't let it go. We can't seem to forgive, as Jesus said, that we should forgive. So, because of that, we are seduced by these men who are seduced by evil spirits. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, you have to make up your mind, what are you going to do? Are you going to live uh, like Jesus told us to live? Or are you going to continue to be led by your emotions and not by the Holy Spirit of God. Now let's go to another story concerning the coronavirus. I placed, posted this video uh, back in 2020 as well, speaking about the coronavirus and what I believe the Lord had showed me about this virus, how it would disrupt our lives and um, we would um, not be able to do the things that we used to do, public gatherings, you know, going to church, or going out to restaurants, and how all these things would be affected. And surely we have seen this come to pass. And I also spoke about how the uh, uh, how this COVID nineteen virus could be used by those who favor globalism and new world order uh, agendas would use this to. Uh, promote the new world order and to control people. Well, I posted a video recently concerning Amazon offering $100 bonuses to new sign uh, new hires who would um, be vaccinated. I talked about Delta Airlines requiring their new hires to be vaccinated. Well, here's another story of a hospital uh, requiring vaccinations but these people are fighting what the hospital is re requiring take a look at this video over a hundred employees are suing a texas hospital over a ccp virus vaccine mandate they say they shouldn't be forced to choose between keeping their jobs and taking an experimental vaccine 
Nearly 120 employees are suing the Houston Methodist Hospital. That's over a requirement that they get a COVID-19 vaccine. The hospital mandate applies to all employees. While the lawsuit says that the employees are being forced to act as human guinea pigs for an experimental vaccine, Mark Boom is the CEO and president of Houston Methodist. In a statement, Boom said 99% of the hospital's employees have gotten a vaccine. He says it's legal for healthcare institutions to require vaccines, and they already do that for the flu. He claims the employees who don't want to get vaccinated are not putting patients first. Attorney Jared Woodfill is representing the employees. He told ABC News that the hospital's policy violates the Nuremberg Code of 1947. The code was written after the fall of the Nazis and establishes ethical practices for human experimentation. The lawsuit says many aspects aren't yet known about the effects of the mRNA vaccines, so they're considered experimental. The lawsuit cites a letter from Boom stating that employees have until June 7th to get a vaccine before they start facing disciplinary consequences and eventually lose their jobs. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says again that his state won't embrace so-called vaccine passports. This comes amidst confusion about whether airplane and cruise, follow, cruise travelers will follow a federally mandated system to show proof of vaccination. Florida passed a bill banning vaccine passport-like systems in early May, and DeSantis said he will enforce Florida law regarding vaccine passports. This means that some cruise lines, which have a lot of business in Florida, could be at risk of violating the state law. For example, Celebrity Cruises gained approval from the CDC to require proof of vaccination, but DeSantis said Celebrity Cruises would be breaking Florida law if it made passengers show proof of vaccination against COVID-19. Despite statements from the governor, Celebrity Cruises say they'll proceed with their plans and will require people to show proof of vaccination. Well, are we required or should we be required to put something in our bodies that's experimental uh, many people are having reactions from it, and some of the reactions are not good, but many people are. So should we be forced to be vaccinated? Well, it seems like that's what uh, the push is, uh, to have forced vaccinations. And um, thank God that there are some people that are fighting against it. So what does this sound like? You know, having people being forced uh, uh, to be vaccinated in order to, you know, fly out on a plane, take a, a cruise, to be hired. Uh, what does this sound like to you? Well, the Bible tells us that uh, in the book of Revelation, that there will come a time when men would be required to have a mark, a number, or the name of the beast in order to participate in the economic uh, system or to participate in the world at that time at all. In the book of Revelation 13 and verse 17 we read, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. I'm not saying that, like I said, the COVID-19 vaccination is the mark of the beast, but it is could be leading us to what uh, to when the mark of the beast will be implemented. You know, as I've often said, things are some things happen to condition you to. Uh, to be open for it and to be willing uh, to receive change. So these things don't just happen all of a sudden, but things are slowly introduced to uh, get us, uh, how can I say it? It's like when you they talk about the, the frog and the boiling water. You don't boil the water all at one time and then put the frog in it, but you slowly boil the water and as the frog is in the water, slowly being cooked, he's not aware of what's happening. And this is what's going on today, people. We are not aware of what is going on. These things that are uh, happening and being forced upon us uh, are examples and foreshadowings of that which is to come, the mark of the beast. So we are seeing all of these things happening in our world 
today. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, so what should we be doing? What mindset uh, should we have? You know, Peter says for us in the book of Second Peter, uh, the third chapter, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Seeing then that all these things shall be. Amen. The word of God is clear. The word of God is plain. The Lord has warned us and told us that these things uh, will happen in the end of days. And that we should be watching. We should be alert. We should not be sleeping. But we should be awakened. Amen. And knowing that these things are going to happen we should be preparing ourselves. he said what sort of persons ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness my friends turn from the world turn from the love of the world turn from those that are in this world that are not uh for the lord they may look good on the outside but they are not following the 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 will of the Lord. They're not living according to the will of the Lord. They have their own agendas. You know, the celebrity figures, politicians, and the like. We have to turn from these things and turn and follow the ways of God in truth, brothers and sisters. As I said from the beginning of this video, Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free are you willing to receive the truth brothers and sisters i pray that you are god bless until next time the voice of the lord is full of majesty breaking the bands of the